G'day everybody. Recently I've been on a Metroid kick and I started with the 3D Metroid games, Metroid Prime 1, 2 and 3, all the ones that are currently available, and I inevitably hit the same roadblock everyone does. Well, the 3D Metroids are great. Let's start with the 2D Metroids. So, where do you start? Obviously Metroid 1. It's a bit of a clunky game and then you're like, alright, this was fun. Now what do we do next? And then you hit the realization of Metroid 2, Samus Returns, and you instantly go, she man, what do we do here? We only really got two options, which is the Game Boy version of Metroid 2 Samus Returns, which is, well, a bit clunky, a bit old, and the Game Boy only really has four buttons, and none of them work great. And plus you also have the terrible 8-bit screen layout with very low contrast and all the rest. I occasionally you can get like a colored mod for it and maybe it looks a little bit better, but overall it's a very dated experience that doesn't quite age up like Metroid 1 has. So you go, well, there's another Samus Returns. Samus Returns in the 3DS. And it's a great, interesting game, but it's an entirely different game. It has new controls, mechanics, ideas, and well, the entire game is literally different. The only premise that remains the same is that Samus is hunting the leftover Metroids on the planet. So where do we go from here? Well, there is fortunately a solution. Metroid 2 Remake. This is a community-led project that allows you to play Metroid 2 in a modern style gameplay and same sort of setting as the same layout as the Metroid 2 GB version of the game, but it has the mod's hits abilities of Super Metroid and Metroid Dread and even Metroid 3DS. This is an incredible fan thing. So, how do we go about playing a Metroid 2 remake? Well, unfortunately, because Nintendo is very uh, suit happy about community fan made mods, they have come down hard on a Metroid 2 remake. But that hasn't stopped their efforts of creating a game. It is just more hidden and more secret and you have to go more of a roundabout way in order to get the game to work properly. Much like The Legend of Zelda 64, decompiles and recompiles, you have to go through a very obtuse route. So, for starters, we head to AM2R Community Developer on GitHub. And from here we go to the releases and we download the version for Windows. But this alone won't actually work. In order for this to work, we need to find a Metroid 2 Remake 1.1 version of the game. And where we can find this is through our brilliant gods at Internet Archives. Once you download this file, you then head back to your AM2R zip file. You extract its files. You then activate the launcher. It will then do a little bit of a setup for itself. You then reactivate the launcher, you then download the files for a Metroid 2 remake. After this, which will take a little while, through the magic of video editing, we could skip this for you. We then find and select our Metroid 2R version 1.1 that we got from the Internet Archives. And it will then use those files in order to make the game work. And it will update to the latest version for a Metroid 2 remake game. And then you can just hit play and start playing the game. It is fantastic. It has lots of options and upgrades that everyone wants and needs from Metroid 2 Game Boy. But it's improved drastically. Now this doesn't take away from how interesting and cool Metroid 2 3DS is, but this is functionally a much better remake of Metroid 2. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, give a like, give a subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. And if you want to see me playing Metroid games, Go check out my channel. There's plenty of live VODs on YouTube for you. Have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.